Rick, I'm really excited uh, to learn about your company, Maker Gear. I've heard so many great stories from educators across the country and even around the world uh, that that they're, that is their preference of choice for uh, choosing 3D printers. And uh, I've had just a few guests on that create um, tools for educators. Most of my guests are speakers, writers, and teachers in the classroom. Uh, I always like to start my interviews, regardless of who I'm interviewing, with uh, how they got into what they're doing. And so I was wondering if you could take us down memory lane a little bit. Tell us what you were like as a student and uh, how you came across uh, founding this awesome company. Do you want the long story or the short story? <laughs> the the best story. Just share okay. that with us. Um, let, me, uh, uh, let me think where to jump in here. Well, I'll, I'll jump in right here. Um, about 2009, um, I, uh, well, before 2009, I, my, my professionally, I was a software developer and I did that for a couple decades, and uh, around um, 2000, I was in a startup. Uh, it was a CRM company. That was the dot com era, and uh, that company was acquired in 2000. And uh, after that, I kind of got out of software, and you know, kind of wandered around for a while, trying to figure out what I wanted to do next. And you know, I'm going to jump forward again now. But in 2009, there were a lot of people that a small group of people that were making 3D printers in their homes, in their basements, in their garages. It was a small um, group of hackers and they were making machines. And they were, while they're having fun, they really didn't work as 3D printers. And you know, that's when I got involved and I went to this little auction and I bought this desktop lathe, which I had no idea how to use. And I took it home, put it in my garage, figured out how to use it. And then started making parts for people that were making their own 3D printers. Wow. And the parts that I made, you know, actually worked. And, and so I would make parts in my garage by day. And at night, I would get online and help people get their, uh, get their printers working. And, you know, that basically spread by word of mouth. And um, people started placing orders with me. And that's how Maker Gear got started. I would, I would make parts by day and help people online at night. 